All right. Like I said, I'm Charlie James, and I am the new host of the Big Talker 1250 WTMA. And you can get us at WTMA.com. If you'd like to be on the program this morning, 556-1250. Got any questions, anything you might want to know, I'll be happy to answer. I'll be happy to discuss with you. But I want to share with you a, a few things about me, or one thing in particular about me this morning. That, uh, and, and I want you to listen, because at first blush, it may sound harsh. And I don't want you to take it that way. I just I want you to, to understand where I'm coming from. And that is, I do not care about you. And let me tell you what I mean by that. I'm not saying that I don't care about your well-being. I'm not saying I don't care about your prosperity. I'm not saying that I don't care about your life. I'm not saying that I don't care about any of these things. What I'm saying is, I do not care about what political party you're you're affiliated with. I do not care what church you go to. I do not care about what faith system you have. I do not care about your age. I don't care about your nationality. I don't care about your orientation. I don't care about all of these things. The only thing I do care about is how you treat people. That's it. Pure and simple. If you are a good person, that is the most important thing to me. My main concern in my life is what political party I'm affiliated with, what faith system I subscribe to, my orientation. I care about me, and I think you should be the same way. I don't let you affect me. I don't let your opinions mess up my day. If I read a cartoon and it, it, it goes against my faith system or it goes against my, uh, my, my political affiliations, I read it. My first words, are, if I don't like it, it'll be, ah, you're an idiot, and I'll move on. I will go have my breakfast. I will eat my ham sandwich. It's not going to affect me. You shouldn't let it affect you. I am not easily offended. Not easily offended at all. I guess about the only thing that could offend... No, I don't really think there would be anything that would offend me. Some things might embarrass me if you say, Hey, Charlie, your your breath smells like the uh, north end of a southbound mule. That might embarrass me a little bit. But it's not going to offend me by any means. I think we should all be the same way. Don't be so offended. Take it in stride. But we've also got to defend. We've got to defend others... We've got to listen to others. When a certain segment of our society is screaming out about something, I think we have to take a listen to that. I think we have to pay attention. Because we're all in this together. I like to believe that everybody is doing the best they can. Now, the way they go about that may be different than how we would go about it. But I do think everybody's doing the best they can, for the most part. At least that's what I like to believe. Do I know that's not true? Yeah, probably. If I get real honest with myself, yeah, I know there are some people out there that are not doing the best they can. But I don't let it get to me. I don't want it to get to me. When I go home at night and and I'm with my fiance, I just I don't want anything of the day interfering with my enjoyment of this life that we have. On the average, we go around the sun 75 times. I don't want to waste it worrying about somebody else's opinion. I don't want to waste it getting upset and spending precious time on what somebody else has said or has drawn or has written. I don't want to be Affected by it. I don't, I try not to allow myself to be affected by it. And I know it is very difficult to do. Absolutely. Because we all want to be on the winning team. We all want to be on the right team. We all want everybody to agree with us. Okay, fine. But your opinion is none of my business. You can share it all you want to. Go ahead. I've got friends that are atheist, I've got friends that are liberal, I've got, uh, I've got friends of, of all affiliations. Do I agree with them? No. Do I still like them? Yeah, I do. 
They're fun people. And I only hang out with people that benefit me and my life, that make my life better. So if you're one of those people in my circle that I hang around with, then it's because you make my life better. I think we should all be that way. A good friend of mine told me a long time ago, a couple of friends told me a couple of things. I'll share them with you. One, do what you want to do. Don't do what you don't want to do. You got to figure that out. The hard part about that is figuring out what you want to do. The other great thing I was told one time is, Charlie, you got to know what you believe and more importantly, why you believe it. That's the hard part. Don't just subscribe to an opinion or an ideology just because mommy and daddy did it or just because your college professor did it or just because the guy on the radio or the television or the newspaper did it. You got to know what you believe and why you believe it. That's one of the things I'm going to hold you to on this show. If you give me an opinion, I'm going to ask you why you believe it. I hope you can show your work. 556-1250 is the number. That's 556-1250. Coming up uh, next hour, we're going to be talking about the ladies of the 20th century. Really, it was, uh, well, whatever, 1920s. So we're going to be talking about this. There was a, a big thing back then where they would go off and marry rich guys over in Europe just to get a title. We'll tell you a little bit about that. If you're a Downton Abbey fan, you're going to know what ex- exactly what I'm talking about because Cora on Downton Abbey, she married the Earl of Grantham, and uh, and now she is, what is that? Uh, is it a duchess? Is the Earl's uh, wife a duchess? or a? Uh, that's a duke's wife. How about an Earlene? An Earlene. <laughs> an Earlene. I've known several Earlenes, and they all come from Nashville. <laughs> Every single one of them, and they work at diners. So, all right, so we tell you about that coming up in just a little bit. Also, shame on the United States for not showing up at the uh, at, at the big uh, at the big rally. One point three to one point five million people showed up at this peace rally. Now, I'll tell you one thing. Here's what I'll, I'll do. I'll, I'll give you another little thing about me. I'm not going to show up at an anti anything rally. You want to do an anti something? Go ahead. You're going to do it without me. You want to do a pro rally? That I believe in? Yeah, I'll show up. I'll show up for that. 1.5 million people showed up at this uh, peace rally over there. in, And then we had one. We had the anti-violence rally here in uh, in Charleston. I think about 20 people showed up. Come on, Americans. we got to do a little bit better than that. Europeans are really showing us up on these things. But then again, maybe we've gotten complacent and a little too used to liking things on Facebook and tweeting our thoughts rather than actually getting out there and doing something about them. Let's talk about that. 